Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about how we can help support somebody who's in the process of recovery. Um, and this is a question that we're often asked by friends and family of our clients. And so a great place to start is by asking your loved one what is helpful for them, as this might look different for different people. So today I'm going to talk about five helpful actions that you can take to help support somebody through the recovery process from their eating disorder. So the first action we'll talk about is acknowledgement and acceptance of the struggles that they might face as they go through recovery. And a great way that you can do this is through validating whatever emotions they might be feeling. Um, and so you could do this by saying, it looks like you're struggling, how can I help? And so another action, a second action that you can take to help um, support is by highlighting um, positives and strengths that you see that are happening and successes in their recovery process. Um, the eating disorder loves to minimize um, successes, and so this is a great way that you can be supportive. Um, a third action that you can take is by getting curious about the recovery process um, and learning um, through websites and books about food neutrality, about health at every size, um, about diet culture and its influence in recovery, um, and about the lived experiences of people who are going through the recovery process. A fourth helpful action that you can take is by um, becoming mindful of comments that you make around food. So there's a lot of misunderstanding and misconception about nutrition. Um, and so we want to be really careful about the language that we use when we're talking about food, especially labeling food in any kind of black and white way. So using words like good or bad, healthy or unhealthy when we're talking about specific foods um, is something to learn about and be mindful about. And a fifth helpful action that you can take um, is um, being mindful about comments around body. And so there might be um, comments that you want to make that are intended to be supportive, but these can really be interpreted in a way that isn't what you meant or isn't as helpful for someone who's in the recovery process. And so um, much more helpful to focus on other things other than someone's appearance. Um, things like personality, humor, passions, their strengths. Thanks, everyone.